I probably should answer. Hey, Eddie. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta. Okay, you're on speaker now. Go ahead. Hey, Jared, are you on your way? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just left. Okay, we'll wait a little bit longer. I don't know what to tell you. Drive faster. Ah, you got it, boss. Hey, but if I get a ticket, you're paying for it. Oh, I'm absolutely not paying for that. Stupid. Just get here safely. All right, all right. I'll be there in 10. Oh, hey, I got alcohol, by the way. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Flashlights, I have bug spray, I have water, I have snacks, I have sunscreen, I have blankets in my car. Sunscreen? Morgan, it's dark out. The moon is right there. That's literally the opposite of sun. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I brought you gifts! <laughs> what are we laughing about? Morgan's being mean to me and I don't appreciate it. What are you looking at? The moon's the other way, dude. I'm looking at the stars. We already looked at the moon. Well, let me take a look. I didn't get a chance to look. Come Help on. yourself. Come on, get in here. <sighs> Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. All right, well, now I want to take a look at what you were looking at. That was oh so important. Uh, wow, the uh, endless void of space. Neat. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Look, it's the little dipper. More like the little stripper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you think we're alone in the universe? No. no. Yeah. What? You asked? Yeah, but the answer was no. Well, then why did you ask? Why do you think we're alone? Well, okay, so... Think about the universe for a second, okay? The Earth is like a one in like a million chance, right? Like humans too. You know, it... it <sighs> it's like anything could have gone wrong, right? We could have been like a little close, a little too far away from the sun, and everything would have just been fucked, really. You know, I just... Okay, sure, there are some planets that I'm sure are similar to Earth, but like, I just don't think they're as lucky as we are. You know, I, I think that's what it comes down to, is just luck, really. <laughs> yeah, in a, in, a, in a universe that is 90% empty death space vacuum, <laughs> it's just, I just don't think they're as lucky. Damn, Jared, really serving the harsh browns tonight. Well, you know, that's just what I think. I don't see any other evidence telling me otherwise. Why do you guys say no? For me, it's a comfort thing. I feel a little bit better knowing that there's other things going about on their lives and own adventures and stuff. It's just science, I guess. I mean, we have all these scientists and satellites working around the clock, and every once in a while, they're like, we found life. They say it better, but you get what I mean. For me, it's a bit of both. We have people, astronomers, working wherever they work, looking through satellites, charting planets. A lot of them, if they're lucky, are like us. They've got water and plant life. Maybe even intelligent life, if the conditions are right. If evolution went the same way, in an ever-expanding and infinite universe, I think there's a good chance, in all probability, there has to be life out there somewhere. And I think that's kind of beautiful, in a way. Something on your mind, Jared? Switching sides? No. No, I, I, I'm just thinking. It's... It's beautiful.